Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm gonna do an RV show today. I stumbled across this and while I was checking out doing some errands. So I figured why not record it and show everybody what's new and what will probably be coming out for next year. So we're gonna take a look. I'm not sure what company. Oh, this is Mayors. Okay, this company. So let's see what we got here. I always like looking at the little ones. This is the price that they have for some of these. This is a little guy, it's a 17 foot. And it's got your bed. Little cabinet area. AC, sink. That's a little fridge, but it's not too bad. Kitchen table. I'm sure that turns out into a bed. Some storage up there. And shower. Pretty good size. Not bad. I know these small ones you kind of whip through them really quick. Yeah, backsplash, it's like a paper. It looks nice, but for how much they're asking, yeah, you can decide on that one. Let's go and see what they got next. I like looking at the bigger ones too. This thing is huge. So, new one. 49 9 2019. 38 foot. Yeah. Let's take a look. Kitchen Island. A lot of cover space up there. Oh, got a commercial going on the radio. <laughs> Microwave, oven, stove. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's got a full residential fridge. Not bad. Kind of nice. Nice little kind of a workstation area. And you could probably put a chair there for a little, to make it into some kind of a desk. Good sized pantry. Another door up there. Full size residential fridge. Which is nice. Let's see what they got for the rest of it. This is pretty common with a lot of them. This door is a new style. <clears throat> Got your door that separates it. Good size sink. Countertop. Good size shower with a seat. And door is closing behind me here. It's all nice and... Oh, got a closet for a washer and dryer hookup where you can just turn into a really big closet. It's a good size bed. It's a queen size. Ooh, wine cooler. Or, yeah, it's got a little... Yeah. Nice. Little wine fridge. Got a, a couch here. I'm sure that turns into some kind of a bed also. Some cabinet space. Oh, it's got a fireplace. Good size TV. I'm sure it swings out. I mean, a lot of these layouts are pretty much the same. They just changed some things around on them. You got your two steps coming down. Cat this space right here in the middle of the hallway. Oh, coat rack. The door that would be a little careful with. They feel a little thin. Especially for the price. Let's see whatever else they got in here too. I was like looking at the really, really big ones. Because they're always pretty cool. Alpines. Let's see what they got here. Got some big pushers here. Usually throw in one or two with some really big nice ones. Storage. They want 63.9 for it. For 2019. Oh, this is actually kind of a nice setup. This is really nice. I'm impressed with this one. Got your own separate living room. And seating for six. You got your living room, you know, your TV, the cabinets, fireplace, all that. And it has your, let me back up some. Got the stairs that lead right up to your kitchen. This one I'm already falling in love with. Not happy with the price, but if you want something you love, you'll pay for it. Nice size kitchen. Really big countertop. Wow. Good size microwave. Lots of counter space. Lots of cover space underneath too. Surprised this thing doesn't have a garbage disposal in it. 
nice big refrigerator. My ankles didn't separate. Bigger than the residential. And probably about the same because residentials are a little deeper. But your freezer, and yeah, it goes all the way down. Yeah, this is nice. Well, has a lot of cover space. Got a good size pantry. Got all your cupboard space up there. A little like shelving up here, which is kind of nice. Good size stove too. It's a three burner, but it's still pretty big. Got your oven, some cabinets and some drawers. I like the lay of this out. I like the layout. And these chairs are. They come out, they're powered, you can tell. Well, this one is. The other two aren't. I'm sure it'll probably turn into beds. Here are the stairs that are up. Might be a little tight to get into the bathroom. Let's see the bedroom here. It's a good size. Nice tall ceiling in it, too. I'm sure that's like a really big closet. Yeah. Oh, it's got a central vacuum, too. That's nice padded headboard 32 inch TV a lot of cabinet space there too some drawers so you can hang all your clothes and put all your other stuff away let's see if we can maybe oh look at that inside the bathroom right above there they got it it's lit up it's hard to see with my camera let's see if I can squeeze into it ah, there we go huh? nice tall ceilings Fantastic fan. Stand up shower. Good size sink. That looks like a residential style bathroom sink, which is nice. It's got cupboard space right there. All your linens. Regular foot tile toilet. I'm, fine. I'm actually pretty impressed with this one. Let's see if that thing. No, that doesn't go out to the other side. It's just decorative up there. But it's nice. It's a nice touch. Yeah, this one I'm in love with. Not in love with the price, but hey, if you want it bad enough to pay for it. Let's see some of the other ones. And yeah, it's you got these streamers up so you don't run into anything. Oh, people are looking at that one. Let's take a quick look at some of these other ones. I mean I'm not doing a full tutorial and there's customers in there too I don't want to bother them this is uh 2020 outside TV take a look at the inside oh, and we got people in here how are you no I'm just recording for YouTube that's all <laughs> so don't worry I'll go around you <laughs> no no let us go out we were actually <laughs> we were talking, talking about, about a different camper <laughs> okay no problem <laughs> That's actually pretty nice. This actually comes down to a bed, as you can tell. But I like how they did this up here. This is actually really nice with the wood trim padded. TV right there, lower down. It's really nice big bed. Judging by that, it looks like a queen size mattress up there. Got your kitchen table. Nice size counter. Backsplash is actually real. I'm impressed. Nice doors. These are, these are a little sturdier than some of the other ones. Your cooktop. Full size refrigerator, residential. Fireplace and TV. Nice ceiling light up there. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of quick, but don't have a lot of time. I have other things I got to take care of. And I'm assuming this is the bathroom. Oh, it's a half bath. But it's a big half bath. You can actually walk right in and turn around real easy. And that's a big medicine cabinet. I know you guys are seeing me, but that thing is, I mean, just, it's big. It's like a medicine cabinet at home. It would be, it's like almost three times the size. It's huge. Controls there for what I don't know. Your bedroom. Nice. Nice big cabinet space. Remotes for everything. And looks like they give you a 
some kind of, I don't know what this is for, some kind of a camera or whatever. Okay. In the back, you have a full bathroom. The shower's still not a bad size, for, even for being the size of this motorhome. I mean, it's got nice hardware in it. I mean, it's the nice, like, brush nickel, which is really a nice touch. The shower's not a bad size. I mean, if you didn't have the stop, it would be, a, or the, the seat, it would be a lot nicer to move around in. But I'm sure there's a reason why they have that there. There's probably something on there. So... All right, well here's, even not having a lot of lighting in here, it's actually nice and cozy. Nice, soft lighting in it. I'm sure you could make it really bright if you wanted to. Another control panel up there. Let's see if we can get into some of these other ones. I want to get into this Cardinal. Oh, and it's sold. Somebody bought it. It's a liquidation tail. The 2019 36 foot. Nice, I like the colors. You know, got your kitchen island double sink. I'm sure it comes with two more chairs. Nice leather seats, leather couch. The TV that pops up from the out of there from the back that's actually a nice touch. Lots of counter space. I noticed for a lot of these new ones like this, they're putting in more counter space. Good size pantry. Stove top, three burner, oven, residential refrigerator. Lots of cover space up there, and they had some extra ones there. Kind of looks. It would be kind of like some kind of. No, it's just a coat rack. Kind of where because it almost looks like it would be like a almost like a china cabinet, which I thought it was. You know, maybe to store some dishes in there for when you're parked for a while. Don't recommend putting them in a china cabinet when you're driving. And bedroom, a typical one. And it is separated from the rest of it, which is nice. I'm really not a big fan of the bathrooms that connect with the bedroom. Good size shower. It's actually, even with the seat, it's still pretty, pretty good size. Nice. 45000 not, not a bad price at all. Let's see if we can get into some of these other ones. There's a lot of them sold already. They must have had this sale going for a while. Yeah, it seems to be pretty much almost the same layout as some of the other ones. It's a little different. I'm sure the TV pops out from right back there. But it is nice because this island, you can tell that that wall when it comes in, it slides over this. Kind of separates it. I like it when they're separated where you have your own kitchen, your own living room, things like that. When they're all kind of just mashed together, I don't care for that. But that's me. Oh, you just touch that and it'll tell you the, the temperature. Good size refrigerator. Residential. Wow, they're like, okay, they got the things on it. That's why, right. so they don't open up too far. So it's got two freezers in it. <clears throat> Here's your intake right there for your heater, it looks like. Yeah, this one's not bad. Definitely not too bad. Good sized bathroom. Got a nice big closet. Nice big linen closet. You can tell this. Pretty deep, not all the way down, but I think there might be something on the other side at that point. Uh, this would be considered a king size bed for one of these. <clears throat> Good size closet. Not too bad. Got some antifreeze on the floor, but not antifreeze. It's for what you put in the, in the water wise. Don't recommend touching that though. Here's even some of the littler guys. Even for this one, 55.9, and this one sold for 23 foot. Let's see what 53 gets you. Oh, good size that up here, it's common with these. Backup camera, GPS. 
This turned into a bed, I'm sure. It's actually a pretty good size sink. You know, got your cooktop with your, your oven. Microwave the decent size. This is a big thing for me. You got to have a double door refrigerator with freezer. Good size bed. It looks comfortable. Yeah, not bad. Not too bad at all. The bathroom looks a little tight to get into. I mean, if you're an average size person, you'll be okay. You know, if you have to sleep and you go, you'll stumble in there. <laughs> got your stuff coming down. Yeah, this is. This ain't bad either. You know, if it's just two people and you're traveling, you know, retired couple or something, or you just want to spend a couple of weeks, you know, traveling across the United States, hey, not bad to do it. Let me take a look at some of these other ones really quick. 41.9. You can buy this for $398 a month. Oh, sensor lights. That's my thing to pop on. Kind of like the other one. Double door freezer and refrigerator, which is which nice. Like I said, they're starting to change up every year. I notice they start to do some little things. And they have a little desk right there built in right there. That's, so that's a nice little thing. You know, a lot of people, when they do travel with these, you know, they use their laptops or, you know, do something, you know, where they need a seating area. So you just buy yourself a desk or take one of the chairs from the kitchen table. And go over there and do whatever you need to do. Separate bathroom. Yeah, this is just like the other one. It's the same setup. Looks like that door moved a little bit when they were bringing it here. Alright, let's take a walk down and see what we find for some of the other ones. They have a really packed one in here tight. That's another one, this is what. 779 get you, and that's a 219, 2019 Ford, 30 footer. Bright in here, I like the colors. Typical bed up there, that's a, actually pretty big, long. So if you're over six foot, you're gonna be comfortable. And cloth, seating. Nice kitchen area with some cup holders. You got your kitchen sink with you know, the detachable faucet. Double refrigerator, and you have your good size shower, glass door. So I'm sure those things probably rattle like crazy when you're driving. Got your toilet right there. Queen size TV right there, but they have with a closet in this one. You just walk right in. This is actually a, pretty nice for this. Got a closet right there with a bar and some, you know, some drawers. Put your shoes or whatever down there. Another bar up there and you even got a, a mirror. Not bad. Actually kind of a nice layout. Just got to remember the stuff there. Nice. Pretty much the same layout. See if we can get to another one here that's got a little bit different layout. Only one so far I kind of seem to be really fell in love with so far. Got new bottom in here. Oh, this one is pretty hard to double look at it for 33.9. Liquidation, what they're calling it. 2020 Wildcat, 29 footer. Not a bad layout. Island, pretty decent sized sinks. Oven, cooktop, microwave. Skinnier refrigerator, like an apartment size, but that's still plenty of, in a, you know, a camper trailer. Good size TV that looks like it's like a 50 inch sound bar. It looks pretty comfortable. Oh, it looks like there's old school paneling on the wall. Yeah, I hope they don't come back to that. Bathroom's not a bad size. 
and then the bedroom faces this way, which isn't bad. You, know, you got your bed, you got your you know, mirrors everywhere in here. Like too many for my liking. A big, huge mirror right there. Stand right there and get yourself dressed. And you got mirrors on all the cabinet doors and everything. I don't think you need that many. But uh, each is on on that one. Take a walk out here and see what else we got. No, it's not. You know what? I'm going to cut through. Let's get some of the smaller ones. Let's see if we can find. The smaller one, uh, no. the 16, it's a 20 foot bunkhouse. 2019 for got your bunkhouse right there. So, for your kids, got a little door right there. Oh, this is more of an outback setup shower, bathroom. Not bad, got a double sink, oven, cooktop, three burner, microwave. And there's your bed that slides out all the way to the back when you try to just pull it in. Double refrigerator with a freezer. Well, double doors. Refrigerator, one for the fridge, one for the freezer. Leather seats. Not bad. More space right there. I still think I have some of the smaller ones. Yeah, right? So, but when it stops. You know what, I think I'm going to call it quits because I've like, seen quite a bit here, so until then, take it guys, take care, hit that like, hit that button for notifications, and Facebook for the subscribe.